Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. It's been a while, but not really. Basically, I've been doing some health stuff, just enjoying the summer, and really just checking up on my health. This episode is going to be kind of like a cheat sheet, I would say. Um, yeah, if you guys know me, I'm pretty much a big foodie. I love food. I love exploring and finding new cuisine, and... Especially, I do love french fries. And if I go to any place that has french fries, I'm going to try it because I'm a fries connoisseur, food connoisseur in general. But with gas prices, with the cost of living, with all the craziness that's going on in the world, how is someone affording so much food, so much different food? Especially if you see me post on Instagram, I don't post all the food that I'm eating, but when something's especially new and I do remember to post, I will post. And now here is my secret. It's not that I'm secretly rich, <laughs> which I wish it was the truth and that I probably would have exposed that secret, by the way. Or anyways, either way, I use a lot of apps. So basically any type of fast food app they're all trying to collect your data i don't know if you guys heard about the whole tim hortons leak and they were just basically watching everybody's movements to see if they would get their coffee or not and even when the app was supposed to be off then they were still tracking people so it was actually on and that's what people don't really realize about a lot of these apps it's running in the background you could have the setting as only use when active but sometimes it says that it's doing that and it's going to breach uh, the terms and conditions so i know some people who are very c theory people that they have their main phone and then after when they want to use these apps they tether their internet on their second phone or third phone or however many phones that they have and then after they use the apps but Basically, places like Wendy's, a and Harvey's, whatever fast food place you could think of, they usually offer coupons. And some of the apps, especially like McDonald's and Wendy's, there's always deals on the app. So if you want to try something new, if you want to be lazy and just eat out without spending so much money, just use an app. Um, maybe I'll use the... Wendy's app as the display picture for this episode just to show you how much you save on the deals. Uh, remember, I am Canadian, so the prices are going to seem higher if you're American to an extent. But either way, I'm pretty sure in America, the apps are similar where you'll save X amount of money on this and that. Apps are a great thing because they're constantly refreshing. The thing that I like about the Wendy's app, before it used to be like once a week, but you could literally go, I think it's once a day now, and use the same coupons because they want you to go at their fast food place. Uh, even when I used to work at Burger King forever ago, we used to, I don't know if they still do that, and I don't know why I'm saying we I don't work there anymore, but basically they used to even take coupons from other places, kind of like price matching, so that people would still shop at their place even if they're losing a bit of money because it's better to get the money from the competition and into your pockets and that's what some people don't understand about business if you're selling stuff on sale as well yeah you might lose a dollar here or there but at least your customers are coming to you so number one thing i would say to save money on food is apps uh, sometimes you could use email subscriptions. I know Swish LA. I don't know if I'm still subscribed to them, but usually they had uh, coupons in your email and they send it to your email, but it's not on the app. Uh, I like Pizzaville for my pizza. Pizza Nova is a second, but I usually go for Pizzaville, especially for the Panzerati's. Pizzaville, after every six orders, you get a free large pizza, right? And they have the passport there. And even on the app, every once in a while, they give you like a free mark on your Pizzaville passport. So it pushes you to a free pizza. So yeah, if you like eating out, you don't really like cooking, you like kind of exploring a menu, check out these apps. 
check out the app actually for the company you know not uber not skip the dishes but even another hack for you guys if you use stuff like uber don't use uber don't use uber eats just don't use it for a while and they'll start sending you crazy deals because they want you to get back on the app um i think about a month and a half ago i was getting like i think it's like you save 15 dollars on your order so i'd rack it up and get it to like 16 dollars and basically i just have to pay for the delivery fee so i was getting like big meals for like three five dollars for uber right so you just have to try to ignore the apps this is just for people who are trying to eat a little bit more or save money i know that obviously eating out all the time isn't going to be great for your health especially since i've been talking about health at the start of this episode but at the same time you know yeah you got to explore your horizons uh, especially once you have money you need to spend your money so that you can experience life with money (laughs) so that you'll be like hey you know what maybe i should try to earn more money or maybe i should find a career or a passion or whatever that could bring me money so that i can enjoy life that's the thing the grass isn't always greener but at the same time um once you experience grass on another side sometimes you realize that maybe you want the grass over there instead of the grass that you're currently in it's a mind-opening experience and it's something that i think every person should pursue because sometimes life tells you just to be content and that's there's nothing wrong with that and sometimes life tells you oh yeah you know you want abundance you want everything you have to try everything and sometimes that works too so why not try both and see which one works better with you and then you live your life based off that that's why there's credit cards that's why there's loans that's why there's different stress at different job levels And that's why people get paid differently. So, like I said, guys, explore these options. This is a short episode. Nothing really spectacular here, but it's just something to get out there and for you guys to try out. All right? Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one.